Karen. Um, today I just want to go through my plans with you for the month of September, just to show you what I'm planning to make, um, hopefully by the end of the month. I've only got three things um, I'm planning to make, just like I said in my previous vlog, that um, I'm actually pattern testing for the Crafty So-and-So um, in Leicester. Um, so fingers crossed I can uh, get these plans done as well, but who knows, I think um, that the, the pattern test will obviously take priority uh, this month, which, which is fine because I'm really, really looking forward to taking part in that and giving feedback to Sarah and Freya at uh, the Crafty So-and-So. Um, so I'll show you what I've, I'm planning to make. Uh, first thing being for my children, it's the Oliver and S um, field trip cargo pants and raglan t-shirt pattern. Um, but I'm just going to do the t-shirt pattern for this one, but I'm going to make it short sleeve. Um, so I'm going to do one for each of my twins. Um, I will be making one for my older child at a later date, but I've uh, prioritised obviously a lot of things for school for him this month. So um, I'll do his next. So I'll show you the fabrics that I've got for my twins. Um, so first one is this space fabric. Uh, so it's a, a jersey a jersey fabric, which I purchased from Guthrie and Garney in Birmingham. Um, and it's just a, a really nice, soft, stretchy jersey fabric um, with a navy blue print on there. And uh, for my other twin, I shall be doing it in this tractor fabric, um, which has got a little bit of green on the tractor with a sort of a navy-ish blue background. Uh, on that one and, and those two I'm going to do for the main body of the t-shirts um, and then the fabric I've got for the sleeves is this grey fabric um, jersey fabric which I've got from Guthrie and Garney as well and on the reverse side is I think they call this a loop back jersey um, and I'm going to possibly use the reverse side of that fabric for one of the sleeves on their t-shirt um, and then just use the grey on the other. I'm not too sure, I might just use grey on both, we'll see. Um, so that's the fabrics for those, and like I said, they're both well, from Guthrie and Garney, and at the present state of time, uh, I do think they have those in stock at the moment. Uh, so that's plan number one for my twins, to get those done. Um, and then I've got two dresses that I'd like to make for myself, um, just because I think I could get away with wearing these in the autumn. Um, and the first one is the Nina Lee Carnaby dress, uh, which is a bit like a shift dress and it's got some sort of pockets in the front there. And you can do this either sleeveless or with the sleeves. There's the line of rings at the top there. And I'm going to do the sleeveless version because I think it will be nice um, to wear it with cardigans. And when you don't have sleeves on, it's easier to wear a cardigan with that. Um, I will do one with the sleeves because um, I've seen some Diana, I think her name is Daffodil Ledger, I think she is on, on YouTube. Um, if you find her on YouTube, she's also got a really good channel to watch. Um, and she's recently done a lightweight denim um, version with the sleeves and she wears like your cocoa kind of tops underneath it and that looks really nice. So I will plan to do one like that in the future. Um, but for this time, I'm just going to do the sleeveless one. And the fabric I've got for that is, it's a little bit Christmassy. Um, but I think I can probably get away with it. And I got this from John Lewis in the sale last year. So it's just got little trees and a few snowflakes and things on like that. But I do think I can probably get away with wearing it because it's quite a funky print. Um, and it's, it's just a cotton, I believe. Um, so that should work quite well. And as it's the first time I'm making this dress, I don't mind using something that um, is a toile, a wearable toile, I suppose you could call it. And um, so like I say, I do want to do it in a lightweight denim in the future. And then the next pattern that I'm planning to make is the Stevie dress by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, and I'm gonna do the version with the, the tie at the top, I really like that. And uh, for this, I've got some fabric that I also purchased from John Lewis. Um, I think, it, again, this was in the sale last year and I've just had it sat in my stash. So I've brought it out to use and I think it should work quite well. Um, it's got quite a bit of structure to this fabric, so it's, um, I, don't, I don't actually know what sort of fabric it is, but it's got a little bit of texture to it, if you can see here, um, and I do think that that should hold its shape. I'm going to go and make a size three. 
I would usually make a size four with anything that doesn't have any stretch in it, but I think because this is quite a boxy shape, I'm gonna go with a size three because I like it to be a little bit more streamlined, especially because my waist is a lot smaller than my hips. Um, and the ease in that, in that pattern, there is quite a bit, so I think I should be all right. And if I need to let it out, I'll just do a smaller seam allowance for that. Um, yes, yeah, so that should be fine. So that's my plans for the month. So I'll hopefully try and get those done. Um, and then uh, I shall report back to let you know what I've made at the end of the month alongside this uh, pattern that I'm making for the Crafty So and So in Leicester. So thanks very much again for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.